right. So I had it on the wrong setting earlier. So now I have it in the movie mode. I'm hoping it's a movie mode. Um, in HDR. I had another um, setting, which is uh, line skipping. So this is uh, should have less noise. It looks kind of straight. Anyway, this uh, I'm trying to record this in um, 30 minutes. See if there's no overheating. It's about 4.45 in the morning. So I'm gonna make one big loop. I'm gonna to go to 1604. Then I'm going to um, Two eighty one on the overpass, the high one, and then I'll go to four ten or, or I pass uh, from two eighty one to four ten, and then from four ten to I thirty five, and then back home. This should take about thirty minutes, thirty five minutes. I don't know, but I want to see how long the uh, video lasts before, if it does overheat. Uh, I'm comparing it to the uh, R10, which I did earlier uh, this morning. So I took off like right here, went down I-35 all the way to that high school off of Green Mountain. This way I'm going to go the other way, but I'll just make one complete loop. Looks like things are starting to dry up, but man, there's a lot of cars. spots right there. Okay. Yeah. Four way stop signs faster than uh, the lighting system. So with all this rain I have not seen any frogs yet. I haven't seen any snakes either, which is a good thing. I had a dog uh, killed by a rattlesnake. That's Buddy's mama. guy in a hurry.
So I think this will last. Um, I did it in the wrong mode, so I had no problem there, but I think line skipping doesn't do as much as his uh, 4K or 6K oversample. I can't remember if it's 6K or 7K on the R50. I think it's 6K in the R50, 7K maybe on the R10. I don't know. But uh, the picture quality looked fantastic. So this is at uh, 1080p or uh, full high definition is another word of saying 1080p. And then um, it's at 30 frames per second. So I got a different area mode. I got number three. So I'm finally learning this camera. Okay, I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Right about there. That way everything is in focus. So, if your camera overheats in 4K, just move it down to 1080. Uh, on this R50, Canon put the automatic settings to uh, full high definition 30. You can leave it at 24, they'll allow that, but anything higher, and they'll say, hey, if it starts overheating, we're just turning off the recording and shutting it down. Just like that. So you work with what you got. You make it work. And uh, you can put it on different timelines. So that's what I did. I did uh, one video and it was during the daytime in the same setting, which I love. I also did it in uh, the C priority uh, or program uh, priority, which controls the aperture and the uh, shutter speed. But I like the HDR much better. So enjoy the ride for the next 35 minutes. I got a 256 gig card in here, UHS-1. It hasn't failed. I've done a whole bunch of movies with this little bad boy. And since I have a new uh, internet upgrade, I can now upload files at 35 miles, or I mean 35 megabytes per second. And it beats 1.5. So now I can put out content quicker, with no problem. I probably could go with AT&T, but since I already paid for the, my modem and uh, my router, which is a Wi-Fi 6, and I'm not leasing or or renting, as you would say, a modem from another service. Decided to do it this way. Even my phone sped up. And I think it's in 4G's, my phone. I don't think there's any uh, Apple iPhone that's 6G yet. Or, or Wi-Fi 6 or whatever. I don't know. Look at that. All these Mustangs out on the road now. So the reason why I'm doing it at night 
is uh, give you a different perspective of instead of driving in the daylight. So I mean, I slept two hours. Go back home, put this video up, or I'll record it and process it. Put the video up. I want to do it just before sunrise. That way it stays dark. Okay. Uh, this is where you have to be careful. So you have to slow down because I don't want to, uh, you know, when you go around this curve, you don't want to go fast. There's a city. Well, the north, north of the city, let me put it that way. We're still out of the main center by, I think, 12 miles. I've been recording 12 minutes. Got about another 18 minutes to go. And it's going like a champ. I'm going to train it up a little bit. A picture look. Does it look pretty good? So, I'll try different settings, you know, taking pictures and stuff with this camera and the R10 photographs, stills, whatever you want to call it. I got a whole sort of a lenses in the trunk. I'll compare the two models together. So this camera, even if it's a hybrid, I think is more of a video content. This is Canon's answer to uh, what, the Z30 or the ZV-E10? But it has an EVF, which I like. Uh, the A7C has a rangefinder, but it's great on video too. Now, I don't know if this is in 10 bit, so I have to look up. Uh, it might still be in 8-bit, but the video quality looks great. And I haven't gotten into the picture side yet because I'm going to look in, uh, see if it does raw files. I know the R10 does. I don't know if this one does. It may get an update or firmware update from Canon to do that. I don't know. It's like uh, Panasonic with the uh, S5 2X. Uh, 
it has all the bells and whistles, but if you get had the S5 too, you pay 200 extra dollars for the firmware update and you can almost match it. I think there's a couple of things they're limited to, but you know, and that's if you want the ProRes and uh, I think it was something else. So they slow down 410 to 55 miles an hour because they're doing construction there too. I thought 410 was perfect. But, you know, they're always modifying these uh, highways, folks. More people, more lanes more tax dollars yeah I remember this curve so I, I'm kind of like redoing see I, I left the high school all right but I had it in the wrong mode setting okay I want to get in this lane So this is the other overpass. This will go over 410 and put me on 410 East. So I went west on 164. I live on the northeast side of San Antonio, all right? So I went west on 1604. Went on the overpass to 281, which I'm coming off now. So I'm on overpass now. Going back east, which will be placing me on the 410 loop. So the 1604 loop is the outer one. The 410 loop is the inner one. And then inside 410 loop is uh, as you get to the main city, San Antonio. Here, yeah, it's 65. But if you go up the road a little bit more, it'll turn into 55, and then I'll have to slow down. These guys are going 70. But what do you think of the lights? I thought you guys might like this. Got a lot of stuff. There's a magic time machine. Got some wonderful restaurants over here. Or out, or they were out earlier.
So it's still dark cow. Trying to match what I did with the R10. So it stays 55 all the way, most of the way. I don't think it goes back to 65 uh, where I'm going. It stays on 55. So we'll do that. Slow me down. I make sure that I get my 30 min 35 minutes in of recording. And it should have no overheating bars. I got the air conditioning uh, for internal air, nothing on the outside. And I got it on the lowest setting. Plus I got little dampers on, so it's cool in here. 68 degrees at 67 outside. It's a humid. But the camera is nice and cool. It's not even warm. So with the dummy battery and 256 gig storage, you're getting the best picture quality available from this camera. So I'm doing some tests where I think I fooled a lot of people. I uh, upscale it to 4K, 30, 60, 1080, 60, but I do it in the software. I don't do it in the camera. And that's what a lot of people uh, don't understand is, let's say I get a cheap camera and the video looks great, but I upscale it to 4K, whatever. People that watch it, they have no clue, unless you let them know. So what I'm showing is when I get a camera, I get upset, but I'm learning all the time. Even with the Z30 from Nikon, it's a great camera. If you leave it at 1080, uh, 30, I think. I haven't tried, I don't know if it can do 1080, 60. If it does, it, you know, because the, the RX100 from Sony does that. The A6100 doesn't, but I had it in 4K 30 and it didn't overheat. So it should be 55 miles an hour. You'll see more traffic now. When I was driving in the middle of the morning or at midnight, I should say, uh, less traffic. But this makes it a little bit more exciting. More light, more pictures. Last three days I drove 250 miles. I got another 142 before I fill up. I'm averaging about 26.1 gallons uh, on the highway. I can get it up to 37, but uh, anyhow. I do a lot of city driving too. And they're all going in 65. This is, this is time where uh, the police go and catch these guys. Yeah, 
nice smooth patch there for a while. Yeah, that was right, 25 minutes. Looking good. Now it gives me a red border like the uh, ZV-E10 when you're recording, but it blinks off and on. But I also have the recording uh, sign on too. And there's a little red dot where it lets me know that when there's a square around it, it's recording too. This is all on the R50 in the back. I'm using the number three, which is kind of like a, a, a wide uh, autofocus box, rectangle box, so that everything can stay in focus. minute drive with me folks and going back home There's a lot of people that live in San Antonio and they drive all the way to Austin. That's probably why there's a lot of traffic out. It doesn't rain today. I like to get the grass dry so I can cut some of it. Well, my back's feeling better. Amazing what a little ibuprofen can do. All right. Road work ahead. Now, it can rain like crazy, and these buildings right here still water the grass. Explain that to me, folks. See all this water? The sprinklers came on. Talk about wasting water. Yeah, 30 minutes. No overheat warning.
So maybe they're going to dig a deeper ditch or something. I don't know. You know, for a water runoff. Did it? Yeah, 31 minutes. I matched the other one. Now I'm going to try to get it to 35. So I'm going to drive around a little bit. Make it last a little bit longer. So I recorded a file that was uh, scanning settings 1080p 30. And then I'd uh, put in a timeline with 1080 60, then uh, 4K 30 and 4K 60. And, uh, ooh, look at the deer. Yeah. Deer's over here in this neighborhood. I think that's a bird. I'm not sure. Yep, more deer. Deer to the right. Man. That means they're eating my tree. I'm just going to go up and down. I'm just trying to make it last till 35 minutes. I'm not moving the camera or anything because it's too dark out and people are probably starting to get up to may have to go to work. Boy, this tree has a lot of dips. I'm glad I don't live on this street. And this is in my neighborhood. Look at all these dips. Man. This is incredible. Boy, if I had the ibis on, you, you'd probably get seasick. You know, with these small cameras with the uh, stabilization on the lens and then also on the uh, um, digital uh, on the uh, camera, you would get a jello effect. Something fierce, kind of like a mirage. Up and down, up and down. It's like, uh, remember the old uh, Slinky commercial? Slinky, Slinky. The only difference is this is jello, jello. Yeah, look at that. I can't believe it. And a lot of rain will do damage to vehicles. I, I mean, to roads. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go on a circle over here. I just wanna make sure the deer are not eating my little tree. I'm gonna shoo them off. So there's my house. I just wanna show you my uh, road is pretty good. There's maybe one dip right about here. Just a little dip. It's pretty solid. 
Looks like there's another one forming up here. Right about here. Yeah. So this road's not too bad. See, there's a car leaving. I think my voice is recording. Hope I have it in all the way to the camera or I'm gonna be upset. Yep, made it 36 mark, good. No overheat warning, folks. So I hope you enjoy the ride. Thank you for watching and staying with me. If you like this type of content, please give me a like, subscribe. Any questions, just write in the comments below. I'm learning this camera too. And so remember, stay safe, keep smiling, and until next time. Goodbye. And let's get inside the house. Yeah, see, there's my tree. Okay. So the center part, they're eating. So I don't know if I was going to trim that or whatever, but I didn't. I just water it. That's all. I have to get rid of that lazy boy. Taking up too much space. You're gonna to have to tear it up, put it in small pieces, put it out in the trash a little bit at a time. So I will see you later. Bye.